When you and your team work together on Trint, you not only unlock more value in your audio and video files, but you also get your work done faster. So let's take a look at all the different ways there are to collaborate using the Trint platform. Collaborating with other members of your team is really easy to do on Trint. So first, let's take a look at how to use collaborative editing. So first thing you need to do is share a Trint with the other members of your team. To do that, you open a Trint and click the share button and then select share with collaborators and enter the email addresses of the team members you want to invite to work with you on this transcript. So there are three different levels of permission that you can give your collaborators. The first, can read, means the collaborator can see the Trint, they can see the edits you make, and they can see the emails and permission levels of other collaborators, but they can't make any edits, they can't make comments, and they can't export the Trint. The next one, can comment, means collaborators can make comments on the Trint, they can see email addresses and permissions of other collaborators, but they can't edit it, and they can't export it. And the third, can edit, means they'll be able to make comments, they can make edits, they can see the other collaborators and their permissions, and they can export the Trint. When you finish entering the emails, add a message if you'd like to and select share, and then Trint will send an email to all the collaborators to tell them the Trint has been shared with them. Here you can select who has access to see current collaborators, edit their permissions, or remove collaborators from a Trint. You can also see the first initial of collaborators on a Trint here, and the person who created the Trint is called the owner, and they're the only person who can delete a Trint. If you want to share a Trint with someone who doesn't have a Trint account, select Create Link. This will create a unique link to a read-only version that you can share with people outside of Trint. Once you've invited team members to a Trint, there are a lot of ways you can work together to find the valuable parts of the audio or video file you're working on. Use multicolored highlights to point out important parts or tag the Trint. Make comments on a certain part of the text to ask a colleague a question, start a brainstorm, or whatever else you want to communicate. Select the checkbox next to a paragraph to verify it. This tells collaborators that a paragraph has been verified for accuracy, and then if any changes are made to that paragraph, the box will go gray to show that it's been edited. And you can just check the box again once it's been re-verified. Use markers to point out a specific moment in the audio or video file. Version history is only visible to the owner of a Trint. We save the edits you make to a Trint every few seconds, and each one of them is called a version. So if you're the owner of a Trint and you want to go back to a previous version, maybe one that you were working on a few minutes ago or even a few days ago, as the owner, you can do that. And that's a rundown of all the different ways you can collaborate on Trint. If you have any questions, just shoot us an email at support at trint.com.